Hey guys, how you doing? Dave from Cook and Share here. Today we're making up some pineapple chicken, and believe me, it gives you a touch of Asia, and for sure, it's a hungry man's meal. I'm going to begin here by cracking an egg over my chicken breasts just to give them some stickiness. And these are two boneless, skinless chicken breasts that I've cut into bite-sized chunks. So we'll just go ahead and give them a stir. Next, season up half a cup of flour with some salt and pepper, and this is about half a teaspoon of each. Grab up my handy dandy chopsticks and dredge the chicken, and you want to make sure it's nicely coated, so roll it around a few times. Okay, what I've got here is about half an inch of oil that I've heated to 350 degrees. I never use a thermometer, I just kind of stick some flour in, and if it sizzles, you know it's up to temperature. Put the chicken in and fry it for about five or six minutes, and of course you're going to flip it halfway through, just until it's a nice golden brown. While the chicken is frying up, don't forget to click that subscribe button, because let's face it, you don't want to miss a video. Something like this. Doesn't this look beautiful? So what we'll do is scoop this up and set it aside on a plate lined with a paper towel just to grab any excess grease. Meanwhile, we'll start making the sauce with a cup of pineapple juice that's left over from the can. Combine with two tablespoons of soy sauce, a couple of tablespoons of cornstarch to thicken it up, and some ground black pepper. After that, what I'm going to do is add some oil to a preheated pan, throw in half a chopped onion and three cloves of chopped garlic. Saute them till they're fragrant, and this should take a couple of minutes. Add in my chopped up bell pepper, the pineapple chunks, and we're going to stir and fry these for, oh, I'd say a couple of minutes. All right, add the chicken back in. Give it a quick toss. Pour our yummy sauce over the top. Give it a toss, bring it to a boil until the sauce nicely thickens. Now the sauce is thickened, there you have it, our pineapple chicken. I like mine over some rice, but it's entirely up to you. Give it a garnish with some spring onions, and you're good to go. Mm-mm, this is so good. The sauce combined with the pineapple and chicken, it's simply out of this world. You've got to try it, guys. For the full scoop on this recipe and many more great recipes, head on over to cookandcheer.com, give us that thumbs up, and most of all, subscribe. Thanks for watching, and catch you next time.